Okay there boys, I am recording using OBS, but then I have a second OBS window open. Which is kind of weird, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, I guess here's my OBS settings video since some people want it, I guess. Yes. Um, so here's my screen scene, I just have like my browser, which is this thing up here for my sub count. Um, I have my stream, which is my overlay. I have my video capture device 2, which is actually my camera. Um, it's called number, it's called two because, um, my first one's my laptop's, uh, webcam. Audio input capture is, um, let me move zoom over. I'm waiting for a zoom meeting right now. But audio input capture is my microphone or else you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. And display capture is my display capture. So if I turn that off, you can't see my display. But obviously I have two OBS windows open. This is kind of confusing to me, not gonna lie. Because I'm recording using OBS and then I have a second OBS window open. So I have different OBS settings in each window. That's kind of confusing. But um, yeah. My video capture device is not working because I'm using it in my other OBS, which I prioritize for recording. And um, it's my second scene. I have my browser, which is this, obviously. Stream 2, which is this, the overlay. And then audio input capture, which is for my voice. All you do to get it to um, mirror, because you can only have one camera for one thing. All you got to do is go to your main camera on your main scene, click click copy filters, and then for instance, you can go here. Let's just create scene four, and then what? Um, where was it at? Copy. There we go. You don't press copy filters. You press just copy. Then you can paste reference which then it should be video capture device 2. So if I cut my video device off over here, and if I do this, you should be able to see it, maybe not. Oh well, but then yeah, that's how you get, that, that works for everything like microphones and stuff. And that's how you do it with your microphone and stuff. In my scene three, I just have my audio input capture and my video capture device. So that's my scenes and sources. And if we go in here to settings, um, as you can see down here, we have two OBS windows. One is recording and one is not. Um, here's my language. Here's my dark default. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything in here. Here's my stream key and stuff for YouTube gaming and stuff. Here's my encoder. I use NVENC H.264 new. Don't use old. Please use new because it will dramatically improve fps i stream in 1920 by 1080 resolution and record in 1920 by 1080 because it just gives that extra level of crispiness however if your computer's having trouble recording and streaming and gaming or whatever at the same time recording and gaming or streaming and gaming at the same time for instance go ahead and lower this to 1280 by 720 it'll boost your fps by a lot but it's not the end of the world for me so you know what i mean my zoom is connecting right now, which is kind of bad, but... Alright, good morning. Good morning. Alright. Yeah, so, there's that. Um, and I'll pick off, pick up after the zoom meeting's done, so yeah. Okay, now that we are done with that zoom meeting, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of- I look like I'm freaking dead. At the rest of the OPS settings. But first, a word from our sponsor. Zan, 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 zan. There we go. That works. But, shut your mouth. Okay, so as you can see, I got 700 millisecond transitions. Welcome to Okay, here, buds. Okay, here, buds. So, there we go. There's everything there. Um, if I go into settings, oh, because I'm on 50% volume. Okay, so as you can see, I use NVENC H.264 new. Um, I record in 1080p. If you if your guys' computers have trouble recording or in streaming and that, go down to 720p. Rate control, constant bit rate, which is probably the best for starting out. I, sh I live stream to YouTube in 12,500 kilobits per second. I recommend you use a bitrate of anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 because it won't look as nice, 
but your internet might not be as good as mine because I have um, 20, 250 megabit upload speeds. So I can stream up to 250,000 kilobits per second. It's actually probably closer to 240,000 because I still need some extra space for game to upload to my game and stuff. Preset max performance because, um, yeah, because OBS lags my computer a little bit. Not bad though. But uh, yeah, max B frames you want to be two. I don't know what that does, but it does something. Um, my sample rate's 48 kilohertz because it cuts out all my keyboard clicks. Or as many as it can. Channels stereo if you go mono. If I go to mono, um, it'll sound the same. Like, it's th there's not surround sound right now, don't get me wrong. But it comes out of both ears equally if I go to mono. It wouldn't do that necessarily. Desktop audio default, default device not connected or available because I don't have an auxiliary microphone. So yeah, decay rate fast. I don't know what that does. Um, I don't know what any of this is really, but um, I'm just gonna put this back at zero because that's what it was at. My video settings, my base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080 because that's mon my monitor's resolution. Um, if even streaming, if you, even if you have your output is 720p and it still lags, go ahead and put your base down to 720p too, because that that that'll boost your FPS like significantly. You'll have to resize everything, but I think it's worth the FPS jump. And I stream in 59.94 or pretty much just 60 FPS in OBS Studio, and I use Bicubit because it has sharpened scaling, but um. I should actually use bilinear since I'm not scaling. So hotkeys, hotkeys don't really matter. I just have stuff for start recording, stop recording, pause and unpause and start streaming and stop streaming. In advance, my process priority is above normal. Um, you'll actually want to run this as an administrator so that it doesn't lag. So um, my render is direct. I use DirectX 11, my color format's NV12, whatever. But if you run, um, if you run, um, OBS just normally, if you guys didn't see, um, card up over there, uh, when I ran it just normally, I recorded the first, uh, Fortnite Ace Nature 5 video, which I shouldn't have done it on OBS anyways, I apologize for that, and, um, it was so laggy, and that's because I didn't run it as an administrator, so yeah, that's, this is my streaming mode stuff and stuff like that. And um, streaming, you don't want your video bitrate to be 1000, you want it to be a lot more than that. For instance, mine's 12.5. My recording path, you want it to be to your larger drive, because I have two drives. I have a 128 gig SSD and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Um, your format, whatever you want. Really, I prefer MP4. Some people prefer FLV or um, MKV, I think it is, because you can recover it if it crashes, but I don't really care because it never happens. And you want to use hardware NVENC for your recording format or for the encoder and you want it to be highest quality medium file size if you have a fairly small drive like myself however when i do build my pc it's going to have a two terabyte hard drive and a 512 gig ssd so i'll have all my games on my ssd well pretty much all my games i'll have fortnite and valorant on there and then like games i don't play as often on my hard drive and um i'll have still like 300 extra gigs open on my SSD and I'll have like <sighs> 1.7 terabytes free so I'll probably go up to um, tremendously large file size but um yeah I'm actually gonna go up here indistinguishable because yeah it's better but um yeah here's your custom mixer settings you want your output mode to always be um, advanced because you get more stuff like your B-frames. You can choose your B-frames and stuff. However, with simple, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't in your audio bitrate and stuff. But with advanced, you can do everything and it has its own dedicated tabs. So recording path D, type standard, generate file name without space. Whatever recording format, MP4, audio track, however many audio tracks you have, I only have one. Um, encoder, you want it to be H.264 new. 
you want your rescale output to be whatever you want to record in. Um, and now that I'm doing it, now that I'm actually recording in 1080p, I actually need to go up to 70,000 because I still had it set up for when I used to record in 720p. So yeah, my I want my presets to be max performance for recording as well, my profile high, and max B frames too. Audio doesn't really matter. Replay buffer, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's my entire OBS settings. Um, if you want me to research more into what the settings do and give explanations on top of it, um, go ahead and get this video to 20 likes. Can we hit that on this? I mean, I know I've hit over 500 likes on one of my videos, so I know we can definitely hit 20. But um, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'm going to go edit this video and upload it for you guys. I'm out. Peace.